Influencers are being called out more and more for faking their photos. In my videos, I've talked a lot about influencers who've altered their bodies or faces for Instagram. But what about influencers who've faked an entire photo for fame? What is gravy? You are watching IO. My name is Charlotte. To our returning viewers, thank you so much for joining me again for a spill sesh. And if you're new here, step. On this channel, we do the news and we make it entertaining, and we also serve you the spiciest top tens on YouTube. Subscribe so we get to hang out on the regs and follow the IO team on Instagram and Twitter so we can connect outside of YouTube. I respond to comments, not DMs. Starting our list off at number 10, Scarlett London. Lifestyle blogger Scarlett London has 75,000 followers on Instagram. She posted this photo of her quote, perfect morning. The caption read, the best of days start with a smile and positive thoughts and pancakes and strawberries and bottomless tea. The Instagram post was sponsored by Listerine, so she got paid for it. It does look like your typical morning. Coffee cup, pancakes on your bed, massive bundles of balloons on either side of you. I'm actually not sure who wakes up to huge bundles of balloons, but you get my point. The post looks like your typical influencer humble brag post, but upon closer inspection, people noticed a few problems. Number one, she's drinking a cup of thin air, not bottomless tea. And number two, the pancakes are not pancakes, they are tortillas. <laughs> Anyways, the fake pancakes and no tea is not really the problem for me. My problem is no one wakes up like this. Do you know how much effort she went to to get a picture like that? She went and got friggin' bundles of balloons. At number nine on our list, Gabby Hanna. Remember that time when Gabby Hanna faked an entire trip to Coachella to prove just how easy it is to be fooled by social media? Yeah, that was epic. From the photo she posted, you would never be able to guess that she wasn't at Coachella. She's got the token photo of her in the grass with the festival people behind her, and her outfits were like so Coachella. She also posted a video to her channel called I Faked Going to Coachella, and right now it's sitting at four million views. So technically she didn't fake a photo and lie about it, she told everyone that it was fake. But the stunts still made her go viral and it's definitely relevant to this list. It had some mixed reviews, people didn't like the idea of being duped, but I think others appreciated that Gabby was trying to expose a very real thing that happens. You might think that you're jealous of someone's life on social media, but maybe that person you're jealous of is faking their life on social media. Moving on to our number 8 spot, Johanna Emma Olsen. We've talked about her a couple times on this channel so I won't spend too much time on her, but she's actually the person who inspired this list. Johanna Emma Olsen was exposed for photoshopping herself into a iconic Paris locations. Her followers noticed that if you looked very closely at the photos, there was very obvious stitching. See this photo? Everything looks normal until you look at her feet. No shadow, it kinda looks like she's floating. Johanna responded to the backlash saying that she really was in Paris, but she photoshopped the backgrounds for example to make it look like she had a table with a better view at Lulu restaurant. Uh huh. See, and before I did YouTube, I was really into photography and creative shoots. I would replace the background of my photos a lot to like include a sunset. When you're shooting with a prime lens, the background is out of focus because the subject is in focus. So unless you're shooting on an iPhone, it's hard to get the ideal lighting and get both things in focus. I guess there's a big difference between posting your artwork or graphic design to Instagram and also claiming that you were really in Paris when you weren't. <laughs> Either that lucky number seven, Marissa fucks. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce her last name, but it's spelled F-U-C-H-S, which is very funny. Anyways, in the summer of 2019, Marissa was exposed for staging her surprise public proposal. It wasn't just a public proposal. Her boyfriend, Gabriel Grossman, took her on a 48 hour long surprise scavenger hunt and the entire thing was documented on both their Instagram pages. At the time, Marissa had 193,000 followers on Instagram and before the charade even started, she and her fiance to be sent marketers in New York an itinerary planned out by the hour, offering brands a quote, opportunity to align themselves with a momentous occasion and the beautiful city she will be visiting along the way. Mm. So Marissa and Gabriel literally planned all of this in advance, reached out to brands, hotels, and restaurants in an effort to get them to pay to be a part of this surprise sponsored engagement. <laughs> Anyways, the pitch deck for the proposal was leaked to the Atlantic reporter, Taylor Lawrence, and he published it online and the hate train rolled into the station. According to Grossman, most brands didn't respond to their proposal and the companies that did pay for the stunt were already involved. Sounds like a lot more trouble than it was worth. At number six on our list, Carolyn Stritch. Back 
back in 2018, Carolyn Stritch, a blogger with 224,000 followers, faked an entire birthday trip to Disneyland to prove how fake Instagram is. She told her followers that she was celebrating her 22nd birthday with a trip to California. But Carolyn is actually a 32 year old digital marketing student and she never went to California. It wasn't even her real birthday. She used Photoshop to cut out her body from a photograph taken in England and imposed it onto a picture at Disneyland she found on the internet. The photo looks like she really was at Sleeping Beauty's castle. She also posted edited pictures of herself looking 10 years younger and not even her own mother figured it out. Carolyn eventually revealed in a blog post that the whole narrative was fake. She said, I came up with a story, my face apt perfect self, who's 10 years younger than I am, flies off to Disneyland for the day and somehow manages to photograph herself alone in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle. So needless to say, the stunt did go viral and was picked up by news outlets. Halfway there now at number 5, Lauren Bullen. Lauren, or Gypsy Lust on Instagram, has 2.1 million followers at the time of this recording. She's a famous travel blogger like many of the other influencers on this list. Back in 2016, Lauren accused another woman of copying her photos on Instagram. The photo on the left is Lauren's, the photo on the right was taken by another woman, Diana Alexa on Instagram. Pretty similar, not gonna lie. Here's another one, also very similar. She wrote a blog post about it called, Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and the copycat story made international headlines. But the story just didn't add up. Reporters from Insider tried to get in contact with Lauren and ask her to put them in contact with this Diana person or share details about their conversation. Lauren refused. I mean, let's think about this for a second, okay? For someone to copy her posts, outfits, and destinations exactly, like to the T, they would have to spend an insane amount of money and effort. She either edited another woman into photos of the background she had taken herself, or she had a friend with her the whole time she was traveling. She created a fake account and took copycat images. Reporters tried to contact Diana and they just couldn't find her. This whole thing ended up being a hoax to get more followers and it worked. At the time, she had 778,000 followers and she gained around 200,000 followers in a week, helping her cross the 1 million milestone. In at 4, Amelia Liana. Amelia Liana has 505,000 Instagram followers. Back in 2017, Amelia's followers noticed something rather odd about a photo of her at the top of the rock in New York City. Here she is at the top of Rockefeller Center. Beautiful photo. But there was something missing from this photo. The Freedom Tower. The Freedom Tower stands where the Twin Towers stood after 9-11. Amelia's photo was posted in 2017, so if she really was in New York when she said she was, the Freedom Tower would have most definitely been in the background behind the Empire State Building. Uh, yeah, that's awkward. After Instagram users noticed this and called her out, they started picking apart her other photos as well, like this one in front of the Taj Mahal. If you look at the reflection in the pool, the Taj Mahal is compressed and it's not a mirror image. Amelia responded to the criticism in a blog post where she said that she simply retouches her images like everyone else, but this wasn't a little bit of retouch. She tagged herself in these historic places and pretended she had a lifestyle that she didn't. Getting close now at number 3, Anna Allen. Anna is a Spanish actress who's been in the industry since the year 2000, but in 2015 she was exposed for stealing celebrities Instagram photos and photoshopping herself into the pictures. She bragged about attending the 2015 Oscars, but actually stole the background from one of Lupita Nyong'o's Instagram photos to make it look like she was at the Academy Awards. But this wasn't the only photo. She also posted this photo of her with the cast of The Big Bang Theory, saying that she had a guest starring role on the show. In reality, she put her head onto Summer Glau's body. She did this with several of her photos, and honestly, I don't really know how she thought she was gonna get away with it. The Photoshop work is, uh, it's pretty bad. At number two on our list, just a construction guy. I can't even tell you how happy I am to be able to put a man on this list. So there was this viral Instagram account called just a construction guy that followed the life of a dad named Omar. This influencer account is really different from other influencers because it speaks to a different audience, blue collar working class fathers. Photos on the account featured a man in his day to day life as a construction worker. In his photos, he's drinking coffee, working on construction sites and smoking cigars. And the account totally blew up. Right now it has 500 thousand followers. But it turns out that this account, as charming as it is, was a viral marketing stunt created by an Austin, Texas based coffee shop. Mike McKim, owner of Kuvi Coffee, hired a real construction worker, but his online persona was created by an advertising agency called Bandolier Media. He hired professional photographers to follow Omar around, and Kuvi Coffee is often tagged in the photos and seen in the background. It's still a pretty funny account though, highly recommend. In at number one, Sadal Young. 
Back in 2018, Sadell, a Hong Kong based influencer with 175,000 followers, was exposed for stealing photos and posting them to her account as if she had taken the photos herself. She often posts photos in iconic destinations, like this one she posted in Venice, Italy, hashtag travel with Sadell. But the photos Sadell was posting looked strikingly similar to photos on travel websites and also straight up from Google Images, bruh. <laughs> Had to throw in a bruh. Had to. Here's another photo of Manarola she posted. And here's the photo she stole from Google Images and cropped. She also did the same thing with food photos. Here is one of avocados and eggs she posted. And here's the photo she stole from Pinterest. The charade caused so much outrage online that there was even a parody page created entirely dedicated to exposing Sadell. Sadell responded by deleting some of her photos and she also defended her actions, saying that sometimes she just wanted to use blank photos to space out the photos in her profile. Yeah, you do that with photos you've taken yourself, duh. Well, there you have it. Kind of a different take on our Instagram versus reality thing. I don't want you to think that all travel bloggers and influencers fake their photos. Some of them really are genuine and really do look the way they do, and they really do have the life they say they have. Just wanted you guys to be aware of how easy it is to be fooled by a pretty picture. Tell me your thoughts on this one down in the comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video really quickly because Eamon is waiting to film with some common features from our video top 10 influencers who went too far and got exposed. Chrissy Ma said, Influencers posting at Chernobyl for exposure. What kind of exposure? Radiation? Ha! I see what you did there. Harper Hexad, I hope these top 10 lists exposing influencers for different things keeps going. I'm addicted. Don't cut me off. I would never do that to you. Never. Never. Original Asherella said, I am not influenced by any of these people. Mm. Mm. Me neither. That's it for me. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Pretty please. And subscribe if you want more. Stick around for some bonus content. And I'm going to see you in a future IO video. Hang on. Is that heartburn or is that hurt? I don't know what you are, but you suck. Thin air! <laughs> oh, I just had lunch and burping. Oh, it's caught. It's caught. It's in there. Oh, it hurts. Okay. We in like before I in this, I in this. Very funny. <laughs> Larry, I'm sorry. Sorry, Larry. Fuchs. <laughs>